Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabook.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Wow, I am going to wait until I get some of you on here. I'll get myself set up on my iPad so that when I turn this around, I will be able to see your comments. I see lots of people coming in. So excited to share with you tonight. I can't even tell you. Oh, let's see if I can get my iPad working. <laughs> okay, I'm going to X out that little star thing because that's annoying. There comes everybody. Hi, Bonnie. Who else do we have? Jody and Diane Christie. Welcome. I'm going to find me on here. Shouldn't be too hard. And... There I am, and that is exactly what I am wearing. <laughs> Yay! I'm winning tonight! Oh, I see Debbie coming in, and Kay, and Peggy. Oh, I hope you... Oh, hi, Connie. Hey, Connie. Um, I came home this afternoon and found a big box and a bag of baby clothes on my front porch for Haley's new baby. Yay! Thank you so much. Um, we have not gone through them yet, but I can't wait. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Carol. And I hope that your trip down here to our area in the Fox Valley was um, a good one. Yeah. So, oh, I scared you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to scare you. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Danny. So, we had a really good um, well, gosh, I was going to say we had a really good weekend, but heck, you guys don't want to hear about my weekend. You guys want to hear about my trip, right? Oh my goodness. Can I just say that my company is amazing? And I was very, um, I don't know if humbled is the right word. When I think about all the people that have worked hard all their lives and never gotten the recognition for a job well done. So um, for all of, all of you, I want to say well done. And I wish I could give you a trip like I just came back from because it was crazy, over the top, outstanding. Um, we had just the best time. So um, I put Steve in charge of the video camera when we first walked into the Stampin' Up! Um, home office because it's pretty crazy and intense what happens. When you walk in, there's like, there's a big atrium. So there's like a big um, balcony hallway that goes all the way around with a with the lower atrium where they can people can come and eat lunch and do whatever, but it's really big. And when you first walk in the door, all of the Stampin' Up! employees are standing around that on that balcony and they are all yelling and clapping and cheering for you. And it is just like the craziest thing. It's the craziest thing. And it was kind of funny because on the way there, I told Steve, I'm like, all I want is not to cry. That's all I want. That's ugly. I don't want to cry. <laughs> and I did not Yay. But um, it is, it's just crazy overwhelming. So I gave Steve the camera and he was behind me as I was walking in. And of course, I knew when I gave Steve the camera that it probably wasn't going to go well. I just, uh, so I didn't have my hopes set too high on getting anything that was really salvageable. Because if you don't spend a lot of time videotaping things like I videotape a lot and I'm big on Snapchat like I use Snapchat all the time so I'm videotaping I videotape myself with the funny little filters that change your voice and I send them to the kids like pretty much daily because they're funny me and Barb and Dina we Snapchat back and forth it's just a fun thing to do so and I film videos for you guys right and for my business and but if you give a video camera to somebody who doesn't do that very often at all, you kind of got to know that it's not really going to go well, and it didn't. <laughs> so there's really not much I can salvage from that video. <laughs> I see a hand covering the lens for a lot of it. Um, you can see my feet a lot. You can see my butt a lot. <laughs> it was just really, really bad. 
So I, and I never even told Steve, he didn't ask me how the video turned out. I just never said anything to him because I didn't want to make him feel bad. And, um, I wasn't like crushed or anything silly like that because I knew I was really taking a chance giving him a camera. <laughs> so <laughs> Stampin' Up! did videotape it and I'm still waiting to get a copy of that. I'm hoping that they'll be releasing it soon, but of course it needs to be edited and all the things. But anyways, you walk in and everybody is everybody from the company is there and they're cheering for you and they hand you the big flowers that you saw in the pictures. And um, you get your picture taken with Shelly and Sarah, me and Steve both. And then um, Shelly gave a little speech about me and some things she knows about me, which was really cute. And then they asked if I wanted to say a few words, and I did. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody at the home office because what I do, I couldn't do without them and their top-notch um, attention to detail and all the things that they have to do so that I can have a job that I love, right? So I was pretty short and sweet. I'm, I'm, I didn't make a big to-do about my little speech thing, I guess is a good way to say it, but it was really cool. And then we got a tour of the Stampin' Up! Home Office um, by Rhett Christensen. And if you guys, for those of you that are demonstrators and you know Rhett Christensen, he is like the coolest, best guy. I just adore him. And he took Steve and I and gave us a tour of the whole facility. And we got to go out and Steve got to work on the pick line, which was really cool because he actually, somebody got those orders that he put product in. So that's kind of neat. And um, Rhett told us all about um, uh, things that I had forgotten that I had heard before, but had forgotten, like the fact that one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! is that you're not just a number there. And... Um, if you join and become a discount shopper or whether you're a million dollar achiever, you're the same. They treat people the same. And um, I think that's really important. Nobody is more important than the next person. But um, one of the things that I love, one of the stories is that, uh, and I don't know if I'm saying this exactly right, but I think Stampin' Up! had some consultants come in and say, how can we streamline? How can we, are we doing a good job running this company or something like that? And the consultants came in and said, you just built this beautiful facility in Riverton, Utah, and you still have your manufacturing facility down in Southern Utah, right on the border in Kanab, which is where we spent the rest of our trip time. And um, they said, you need to bring that, you need to get rid of that facility and bring your people here so that you're all in one place because that will save you a tremendous amount of money. And uh, Shelly said, absolutely not. Those people have been loyal to us. Stampin' Up! is a major employer in Kanab, Utah. And she would not do it. Didn't matter. The money did not matter to her. She needed to be loyal to the people who were loyal to her. Some people. And the other thing that was really cool is that Rhett would tell um, the average tenure of people on the pick line, the average tenure of people working in Kanab, it was like 15, 20 years. Like most people work there 15 to 20 years or more. So that just says a lot about... Um, my company. And those are the kind of things that I really wanted Steve to hear because while I know my company is wonderful, um, you know, he doesn't know these things. So it was, it was really good. It was cool. He has a lot, I think, not that he didn't respect, but he has a lot more respect for my company. Um, we got to go out to dinner with Shelly and Sarah and um, Shelly's husband Sterling and that was really fun so you get to know him a little bit more next time we get to go on an incentive trip Steve is going to be like hey Sterling how's it going you know so that's pretty cool but um, I wanted to share I know I shared pictures with you guys but I wanted to share some of the things that I received um, first of all this gorgeous gorgeous card was in a welcome basket that I got and it had specialty soaps in it, little bath bombs and chocolate and more chocolate and a little bit more chocolate. <laughs> it was wonderful. And um, this 
Now, remember, I earned my million last year. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this has been a year coming. But this was my this was my card that was in that welcome basket. And that was in the Grand America Hotel when we got to our room. And it says, Dear Kelly, we hope you'll enjoy this gift as you carry it with you everywhere. Let it remind you of your dedication and incredible accomplishment. Okay, so that wasn't the, that was the wrong card. I'll show you what, what came with that. That was my second card. Here is the Kate Spade, everybody. This is the Kate Spade. Yay! And I even have my Stampin' Up! keychain deal here because I am using this baby. And then on another night, I received a Kate Spade wallet. Oh my gosh, right? And I love this thing. I love it. Like, it is so cool. And I'm one of those people that has never purchased a designer purse. Um, my kids, my, my, two of my, two of my three daughters, um, have designer purses, but I've never, I don't know. I just like, that's a lot of money, right? <laughs> so I have one. Ah, I'm so excited. So that was my purse. This was actually the card that was in my gift basket. Sorry. And how pretty is that, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. And um, this says, what you've done is amazing. Congratulations, Shelly and Sarah. So that was really, really pretty. Beautiful card. This was the card that came with my purse. It says, this gift as you carry it with you everywhere, let it remind you of your dedication and incredible accomplishment. Like, holy cow, thank you so much. And then I got this little card. And it was, again, beautiful. And it says, welcome and enjoy your celebration. So this was probably the first card that came with my basket. I don't know. Oh, my gosh, it was such a whirlwind. And then here's one of the gifts that I received while I was at the doing my um, tour at the home office. And this is one of our mini paper pumpkin boxes. But check out all that, right? Isn't that pretty? And inside the box is, hang on, an engraved um, acrylic block for a million dollar achiever. And then also... They make a rubber stamp that they give to all the million dollar, whoops, here we go, million dollar achievers. So this is the sticker and this is the stamp that I can put on the other block that's in here. So isn't that cool? But yeah, so this is just an engraved million dollar achiever. I think if I put it this way, it'll not be backwards, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and even, you know, that's really cool, but look at the box, right? <laughs> like, that's what we do. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so what did I see Haley's on here? Yes, Wendy must be asking about Val. And when I came back from my trip, um, I went, we got home and I unloaded my suitcase and threw in some laundry and I went right over to Haley's house. And Val literally screeched she like shrieked it's coming up the stairs and I could hear Haley going who's here who's here and then I popped up around the stairs and she was like da, da. it was so funny I'm not gonna scream as loud as she did because I'll scare your people at your house but it was so adorable so yes I was missed and I missed her terribly we did um we did FaceTime while we were gone once so that was really nice this was another gift. I now have a badge to get me into the Stampin' Up! facility. So that's kind of like an honorary key, right? Isn't that cool? I thought that was really neat. So got that here. What else did I get? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, I've got these little things I can share with you. These were all over the place. Every time like I met with Concept Art and I got to talk with all those gals. Oh my gosh, they're so wonderful. But here was little boxes of candy every place I went for the million million dollar celebration. Here was another really cute little box of candy, right? And um, concept art had um, bonbons, I believe. So I came home with lots of candy. They know me well, right? <laughs> I have been munching on these today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> So, and then um, once we got, well, uh, let's see. So, 
Oh, and I shot a video with Sarah. That was really fun. Um, I made a fun fold card with Sarah and we will be showing that to you later in December because it's using new product. So I can't show it to you until closer to the time that our January catalog is going to be coming out. So that'll be exciting. Something to look forward to. But I shot a video with Sarah. Um, we went around the pick line. I saw the paper pumpkin pallets of paper pumpkins waiting to go out in the mail the next day. Um, we have these new garden gems that are with the garden Eden's Garden. Um, Rhett told me those just arrived, so those would be ready to go. So I got kind of got a little insider information there. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. And then I had lunch with Shannon West. She is my demonstrator development manager for the Great Lakes region. And um, Rhett Christensen. And also with Chad Williams. Chad is kind of our um, my go-to IT guy. And um, Max Conrad. Max Conrad I've known for a long time. She's a wonderful, wonderful friend. Um, and I met her at conventions in the Stampin' Up! home office over the years just going there. So I got to have lunch with those people, and that was really cool. And yeah, it was a fantastic trip. Um, that was Wednesday and Thursday. For No, that was Wednesday. Thursday, we drove up to uh, Heber, Utah, through the mountains, through a snowstorm. And we rode the Heber Creeper train. I know lots of you knew what that train was, and that was kind of neat. It was a very pretty train ride. We had lunch on the train. And then Friday, we checked out of our hotel, and we headed south. And we went to Kanab, and we stayed there, and we stayed in this quaint little um, motel called the Perry Lodge. And if any of you have ever been to Kanab um, with a... Um, Founder Circle trip, someplace we used to go every year, every fall. Um, the Perry Lodge is right across the street from Denny's Wigwam. <laughs> so, and you guys will know what I'm talking about. But we stayed at the Perry Lodge. That's where all the movie stars used to stay. They called it Little Hollywood. Um, Utah, uh, Kanab, Utah was called Little Hollywood. All the movie stars, and this was a long, long time ago, like back in the 40s, would drive to Kanab to shoot the old Westerns, like um, Gunsmoke was shot there and, and a whole bunch of other Westerns. But the Perry Lodge is where all the movie stars stayed. So John Wayne stayed there. And um, oh, I know I knew I was going to be terrible at this. I should have written it down. Anybody who was in the old Westerns, that's who stayed there. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. But we stayed there for a few days. We went to Bryce Canyon. We went to the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, we drove around and saw all the things and ate the good food and it was wonderful. Yay. So yeah, it was, it was everything that I could have hoped for. It was just really fantastic. Um, the only thing I would have liked is a little warmer weather because you know, when I go on vacation, I'm looking for some heat and some sun and we didn't have any heat. <laughs> it was kind of chilly, but that's okay. Oh, Andy wants to know about the fancy dinner with Shelly. That's where Steve learned the word bougie, and it was very bougie. And uh, Sarah said her kids are saying bougie all the time. So the rest of the trip, things were bougie. <laughs> and um, we went to a seafood place, and it was called mm, the Oyster something or another. And... Um, I had scallops and we had calamari, which was rubbery and meh. but um, the rest of the stuff was really good. So that was fun. And um, somebody just asked me to tell them about something and I kind of missed it. Oh, what about Vegas? Terry wants to know about Vegas. Oh my good Lord, you guys are gonna be so disappointed in me. <laughs> By the time we drove from Kanab to Vegas, um, it was super windy that day. The traffic was really heavy, and Steve was just, like, done. He was just, like, done driving, done doing all the things. <clears throat> we got into Vegas probably about 4.30. We checked into our hotel by the, um, by the airport, and we ordered a pizza, and he went to sleep. We never even left. <laughs> The next morning we got up and turned in our rental car. 
<laughs> and we um, flew home. So that was my Vegas. Somebody just asked, what was that? Um, were you escorted around Canab? Oh, no. So we could have had a driver when we were in Salt Lake City, and instead we chose a rental car. So, and then we took the rental car from Salt Lake down to Canab and then back to Vegas and turned it in there. So that's a good question. What does bougie mean? Bougie means over the top. It means very fancy. Um, and there's actually a country song that has the word bougie in it. I don't listen to country music. Well, there's one song that I really like and it's drunk on a plane. Go figure. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just, that's the only one I know. I don't listen to, uh, I don't listen to country music, but the whole time we kept hearing this country music song because that's the radio stations that would come in and um, it says bougie in it. So you guys might know which one I'm talking about, but just listen for it. It's bougie, fancy. So Kathy says that was that was her Vegas too. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do anything in Vegas. I did dump forty dollars into the Wheel of Fortune slot machines at the airport because I really like the Wheel of Fortune slot machines, and it took about three and a half seconds, and that forty bucks was gone. So there you have it. <laughs> there was no winning going on there. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I need to cut my bangs. They're getting long again. Um, okay, so. Thank you guys so much. I really missed you a lot and it's always fun. I enjoy going on vacation virtually with people. I love to look at their vacation pictures um, online. So I hope that you guys had fun coming along with me with those pictures because I have a lot of fun sharing them with you. So, oh, and Lisa's even spelling bougie. I didn't know how to spell it, but it's a fun little word to say, right? And it's like I said, Steve's favorite word. So we got back from Vegas, or Vegas. We got back from Utah and um, hit the ground running. I got a lot of work to do. I have uh, 20 cards that need to be designed plus tonight's projects. <laughs> I did not have any luck hunting. I did see four deer last night and four or five deer on Friday night. So that was very cool. That's all I asked for is that I get to see the wildlife. So I didn't have any luck hunting, but it was fun. It was a little cold. But, um, yeah, I need to maybe get a warmer coat, maybe. Well, I needed to put my, I use insole warmers in my shoes, not just toe warmers, but the whole insole. Those things are fantastic. You ever go to a football game where it's cold? Get some. They have them at, you know, Home Depot and Walmart and all the places. But um, I did put my hand warmers and my insole warmers in, and I should have done it earlier. Then I wouldn't have gotten cold, but whatever. Um I lost my neck warmer, so that's kind of sad. I kind of forgot to go look for it, too. I hope somebody finds it. It's on my mom's property someplace. But um, we got home, and we I told you guys that I, got an, I bought another summer home. We bought another summer home before we left on our trip, and so we had to go pick that up. And... <laughs> We did, and we took it to my mom's house, and it's sitting in her driveway right now. Steve was cutting down some trees on the property that we bought because we're going to haul it down there, but it's it's really big, <laughs> and I love it. Everybody loved it. They're like, whoa, this is really nice, So, and it's very used. It's a 2012, and um, yeah, we're really excited about it. So we're going to keep my other summer home at my mom's house, take this one down to our property, and... Um, yeah, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So I came home today with Haley and Val because we were all up north and uh, they left and went home right away. And I came right up here and got busy because like I said, I have 20 cards to make design plus tonight. Cindy said she only saw three deer tonight. Well, you had good company. My friend Cindy was out hunting tonight too. And um, she lives over by my mom. She's also one of my team members. And uh she had her granddaughter, Andy, with her. So that is always fun, right? Okay, John report. I have nothing. I have nothing on John. Um, still got the Halloween decorations in the front yard. I did see him through my, um, my guest bedroom window earlier today. And he was playing soccer with his grandson. So other than that, I got nothing on the John front. But... Um, Everybody's good in my family. Um, Molly has started playing the flute. So we're excited to see where that goes. And we had her overnight Wednesday night right away. We got home 
Tuesday night, we picked her up from school. Steve did Wednesday and had her overnight. So that was fun. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I need to tell you about? Oh, I know. I don't know if Candy Shuck is watching. Uh, but, oh, and I see Ruth. Ruth shared a picture of a buck that she got a few years ago. Way to go, Ruth. I thought that was awesome. But um, Candy, I don't know. I put the wrong address on your package, so um, I'm pretty sure you won some prizes. And just know that that'll be going back out in the mail tomorrow. I must have looked at the wrong line on my report, and I put somebody else's street address with your city and state. Ugh. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Some days are better than others. Yeah. So, um, I think we are ready to turn this. Oh, no, we got to do prizes. Then we'll turn the camera around and start some stamping. All of a sudden, I'm getting kind of stuffed up here. I don't know what's going on. It was an amazing trip. It was just amazing. We had so much fun. The only thing I wished we would have done that we didn't was go to um, Bryce Canyon. No, we went to Bryce, to Zion National Park. We didn't do that. And that's a totally different national, you know, it's totally different from the, the North Rim of the Grand Canyon or Bryce Canyon. So I really wish we would have done that, but there just wasn't enough time. And we actually stayed like my trip would have been over Friday and we stayed Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. And then flew home Tuesday. So you can't stay gone forever, right? Okay. Thank you guys so much for all of your comments. That really um, is very helpful. It enters you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. So just for leaving a comment, um, from my last Facebook Live, I have Lanny Rhodes of Port Charlotte, Florida. I have some snowflake sequins coming your way. These are so pretty. You can glue them on the front of your card or you can put them in a shaker and they're just really neat. So Lanny, coming your way. And then for sharing this video, now you guys can share right now. There's some place on your screen that you can click and share my video. And that really helps me grow my business and I so appreciate it. For sharing my last video, I have a roll of this beautiful gold shimmer ribbon. Now this was on back order for a long time. Um, I don't even know if it's back in the store yet. I'm sure you guys will tell me. I didn't think to check the um, back order report, but I've got some of this gold shimmer ribbon and I'm going to be sending this out to Barbara Beck of Appleton, Wisconsin for sharing my video last time. So make sure you share. If you're watching later on YouTube, you also have the ability to hit that thumbs up, ring that bell on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure you can share videos on there too. So for those of you that are on here right now, hit that thumbs up, the like button, that really does good things for me too. Yes, Wendy said, Steve went golfing. He did. And um, one of the guys that he golfed with, we later had dinner with the next day. And he said, he's a really good golfer. And I'm like, well, he better be. <laughs> and the whole time I was telling him when he was going to go golfing, I'm like, win the money, make sure you win the money. And he always laughs at me. He's like, Kelly, there's no money. <laughs> like There better be money. <laughs> he gets so mad at me. <laughs> Whatever. That's our little fun that we do. Oh my goodness. I just, oh, I thought I lost who won this. Um, okay. Last but not least, uh, hang on, have you, whoops, have you ever wondered if John wonders what you are doing? John has no idea what I'm doing, Kathy Shaning. I don't believe John is on Facebook, so I'm pretty safe. <laughs> right? I know, if he ever found out that he is a full-blown report every Sunday night, he would probably be mortified. <laughs> but it's all in good fun. We're not hurting anything. I happen to have a hand-penned Memories and More card kit. These are so fun. And I've got the hand-penned Memories and More cards and envelopes. So you've got all these cards and really fun envelopes. When you place an order with me, you also get entered in a drawing every single week to win fabulous prizes. Fabulous prizes. And last time, between then and today, 
Sharon Disney of Milan, Indiana. These are gonna be on their way to you. So <clears throat> congratulations to all of you. And thank you to all of you who are commenting, sharing, and placing orders because I really appreciate it. I'm gonna set those down over there. Don't let me forget that um, I need to go through my mail because I have some really neat stuff. So um, Roberta says her and her hubby went to Utah. They went to both Bryce and Zion. Zion was nice, but Bryce was awesome. Oh, well, there you go. Um, I just thought Zion is so different because in Zion, you come in on the ground floor and all the things are up. Whereas Bryce, you come in above and you see all the things down, I think. And then, of course, the Grand Canyon. Holy cow. So spectacular. Last time I was at the Grand Canyon. Um, hang on while I zip my pants. <laughs> I just realized my pants were unzipped. Um, last time I was at the Grand Canyon, I was only like seven years old or eight years old. Probably seven. I don't think my sister was born yet. So, um, But I still remember it. It was just so incredibly whoa, right? Yeah, and then Steve climbed up on that really high rock. And when we were walking down these narrow paths where the Grand Canyon is on both sides, I was kind of like a little woo. And I don't, I'm not, um, I'm not claustrophobic. I don't, I'm not afraid of heights. I will ride any roller coaster in the world, but I will not bungee jump or jump out of a plane with a parachute. Like I'm not into that, but I am kind of a thrill seeker. And I did get a little dizzy, but when Steve started to come down off of that huge rock he was standing on in the Grand Canyon, I like couldn't watch. I'm like, I can't watch this. I just can't watch. So that was kind of funny. But yeah, it was beautiful and we had a fantastic time. It was a fabulous vacation. I really like going on road trips with Steve. Um, he's a pretty good companion to have along and... Um, he gets a little crazy driving sometimes. Like he get there's some road rage there. <laughs> He's not gonna like kill anybody or anything, but and there were several times where I said, just settle down. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I didn't drive at all. He drove the whole thing. So that was cool. And I, I like I don't mind driving, but he likes he can't relax when I'm driving. I'm a good driver, but he is like the worst, um, what do they call those people? Um, backseat driver ever. Like he's the worst. So I'm like, ugh, I don't even want to drive. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, did I go to the glass floor overlook? No, I think that's on the south rim. I don't think the north rim has that. That's on the south rim and we didn't drive down to the south rim. We just stayed on the north rim. Um, oh my gosh, who just said that? Cheryl said they live in Colorado and they've never been to the Grand Canyon. Girlfriend, get there. It's amazing. It's amazing. You will love it. Okay, I have some really fun projects for you tonight. Now, I had, uh, ooh, who was it? I think Anne, was her name Anne? And now I've lost the email that asked me about a fun fold. And, and I didn't get a chance. I think it was Anne. Anne Murray, maybe? I didn't get a chance to put that one together, but I do have it marked on my computer, and I will do it sometime in the future. So <laughs> Elaine says she's the worst backseat driver. Not me. I'm like, you drive. I don't care. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Steve is terrible. So, anyways, I will get to that fun fold at some point. Tonight, I have gift ideas with matching cards. And I hope you guys love them because I had a blast making them. And if you remember correctly, Sarah sent me this little box last, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And um, that's what I'm going to share with you guys how to make these. They're super easy and I just have some really great ideas with them. So I hope you love them as much as I loved making them. We're going to talk a little bit about I have a blog hop on Friday using spritzers. I don't know what I'm going to do with the spritzers yet, but it'll be cool. And um, bingo is Wednesday night. So if you sign up for bingo, that's coming up Wednesday night. If you didn't sign up for bingo, I still have not closed registration. So you can still get in on bingo if you want to, but don't dilly dally. Um, 
and there's five make and takes with bingo plus some product and I don't have my slip here to tell you what that is. I'm looking around to see if I have a note any place over here and I don't. But um, it'll be a lot of fun. Wednesday night bingo. And what else? I'm going to be getting the um, artistically inked kits out of here this week. Also the bingo kits out of here this week. And oh, my kit class, sweets and treats. I haven't even released this yet, but I will get it done like in the next couple days. So just watch for that. That's going to be really fun too. All right. I think we're ready. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's flip this around. You guys, um, close your eyes. We're going to do this. Hopefully I don't touch anything. I do have my, oh, hang on. I do have my phone on do not disturb, so don't worry about that. Let me get this straight here. And this is my current host code. So if you um, place an order with me, I always appreciate orders. You'll find my online store at my blog address right here. And then this is my current host code. If your order is under $150, please use that code. If it's over $150, don't use the code because you're going to get some um, rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. First thing I want to talk about tonight is Eden's Garden. This is a brand new suite that is coming out November 2nd. And can you believe that's next Tuesday? Holy cow, right? So... It includes a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. This is the stamp set. And these are like um, kind of, I don't know, realistic type images. They're just gorgeous with some really nice sentiments. Dear friend, how are you? My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. I love those. And of course, sending hugs, celebrate and hello there. Also... These fantastic dies. These are really cool. And I am, I love border dies. This is a border die right here. I'm going to get these out so you can see what I did with them. Yeah, this is a border die. And isn't that so pretty? I always, always go for those. We have this beautiful one, this little sprig. We have a label die here that's really pretty. And then this. Um, leafy frame. So that's what's in the dies. Now, you guys know that when Stampin' Up! has any type of a special release like this, you're going to find a gazillion and a half ideas online because Stampin' Up! demonstrators love to get their hands on new product, right? Like we live for new product. And so everybody's creating with this. Everybody's going crazy with it. Not only do you have a beautiful stamp set and dies, but also the Ever Eden Designer Series paper. This is 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. And then we've got this paper, which is also 12 by 12 paper, and this is called um, cotton paper. So you get five sheets in soft succulent and five in evening evergreen. And these are the weight of, I would say, some very high quality tissue paper. So they're really thin, but thicker than, you know, the junk you buy at Walmart. How about that? <laughs> they're really nice. So that's what this is. Now, I haven't worked with it a lot, but I'm sure that I am going to be figuring some things out that'll be pretty cool. So we have that. We have the designer paper. And then these gorgeous garden gems. And oh my goodness, these are so, so pretty. These are the things that didn't come in right away, but they're in stock now. So I have mine. Aren't they just so, so pretty? Look at all the faceted edges. Yeah, I love stuff like that. So we're going to be um, making some cards with these, not tonight, but I've got several designs already made. I am in some virtual swap groups and I had to design a couple cards using this suite. And then also, whoops, I just dropped one of these. Um, also on Tuesday, I am going to be doing the live class for the Stamp Happy Academy. And um, I have designed two cards using this also. Now that's an exclusive 
class that's only available if you're a subscriber to Stamp Happy Academy. You can subscribe to Stamp Happy Academy with two different options. The first is a basic subscription, and that gets you four online classes every month. Plus, if we have a catalog kickoff, you get into that for free. Oh, look at all my ink. So um, there's lots of benefits, and that's $19.95 a month. Four online classes every month. If you join now, from January through October, there are 40 online classes that you get right away when you join for $19.95 a month. The other subscription is a premium subscription, and that includes all that I just talked about, plus three live classes every month with a minimum of nine cards in each one. So that's 27 card ideas on top of four online classes every month, and that subscription is $34.95. Now, if you want to find those, you're going to go to my blog and scroll down until you see Stamp Happy Academy. It's a very pretty bright colored graphic. Click on that and you'll find all the information. But I've got a couple cards coming out in my Stamp Happy Live on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. And then I've also got a couple more that I'm going to share with you in the near future, but not tonight. Okay, let me set this stuff aside because we are going to get busy. Here comes the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. Oh, so pretty. I think we're also going to use these wonderful gems tonight because there's some red in there, and I just think it's going to look pretty. And I don't usually do this, but this is, this is um, a whole suite. Christmas to Remember and Christmas Season as well as the seasonal label dies. We're gonna be using these. These are all from the holiday catalog. And then I also brought in the heartfelt wishes because I needed a smaller sentiment like this. So I went digging around and this is what I found. Okay, first up, let's see. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make the box for you because I promise you this fun box. So what I have here are Evening Evergreen and um, I almost said certainly celery, you guys. Oh my gosh, pear pizzazz. <laughs> That's so funny. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Now, all of these dimensions are going to be on my blog at some point tonight as soon as I can get the video uploaded to YouTube and all the dimensions and photos and all the things. There's a lot of things that happen after a Facebook Live. But as soon as I can get all that, it's going to be on my blog. So all of these dimensions are going to be on there for you. First things first, we have to decide which one is going to be the bottom of the box and which one is going to be the lid of the box. And I decided, I think, that the... um pear pizzazz is going to be the lid. So we've got this it is eight and a quarter, and I'm just double checking myself here, eight and a quarter by nine and three quarters. So that's my measurement. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to score on the nine and three quarter side. And when I say that, this is the smaller side. This is the eight and a quarter. This is the nine and three quarter side. This is where we're going to score at two inches, four and five eighths inches, six and five eighths inches, and nine and a quarter. Oops, hang on. There we go. Nine and a quarter. Okay. Then we're going to turn this clockwise doesn't really matter. You can turn it either way. And we're going to score it at two inches, but just on one end. So you score on one end at two inches. So we have one, two, three, four, five score lines. Okay. I'm going to set this aside and now I'm going to bring in the box base. And this is eight and a quarter by 10. We're going to use the 10 inch side first and we're going to score. And this one gets a little more particular. 
I want to show you this. This is my little ruler. This is my one inch ruler and I have this hanging up right in front of me to share with you guys. Not because I don't know what the measurements are, but a lot of times we don't know what these crazy measurements are. The sixteenths and that eighths and the whatever. So I recommend that you print something like this out. You can go right on Google and say ruler. Just search for a ruler. This is going to pop up. Copy it and print it out and then I have it hanging right by my desk so I can share it with you guys. All right, on the 10 inch side, we are going to score at two and one sixteenth. And I just wanna let you know, this very first little line is a 16th. So this is one sixteenth, two sixteenth, three sixteenth, four sixteenth, five sixteenth, and so on. We are going to score at two and one sixteenth. And then we're gonna score at four and three quarters. And then we're gonna score at six and 13 sixteenths. Oh my good Lord, right? Don't let that scare you. Six and 13 sixteenths. So let's count that. Where is that? 13 sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, right here. It is one notch before the seven eighths. So this is seven eighths. We're gonna go one little notch before that and score. No big deal. And now nine and a half. Don't let those measurements scare you. Get yourself one of these. <laughs> okay, then we're going to turn this counterclockwise. Oh, I guess maybe, I don't think that matters at all. And we're gonna score at eight and a quarter. No, I'm sorry. We're going to score the eight and a quarter inch side at two and one sixteenth. Sorry about that. So score the eight and a quarter inch side at two and one sixteenth. Okay, that's it. That's the hard part. It's done. It'll totally be worth it. I'm telling you. Let me set this aside. Okay, now we're going to grab our snips. And what we're going to do here is we've got this one little um, short little tab over here. We're going to chop that right off. And let me see if I can get my scissors in here, right? You want to make sure that you're cutting pretty decent. You know, you want to stay on your score lines because that's just going to make your boxes go together properly. And you know what? Sometimes when I'm trying to figure out something like this, like I've never made it before, I will use scrap cardstock, like some crummy old white junk I bought at Walmart before I cut into my good stuff. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> Okay, and here comes, again, we're just gonna cut this little tab off and I will have pictures of this on my blog when I get that loaded up later tonight. So yeah, Steve stayed up north this weekend when I came home today so he could hunt some more, but also he went down to our property to cut down some trees so he can bring that camper in because it's pretty good size. All right, now we are going to fold and burnish on all the lines. All those score lines. Get your bone folder out and make those lines be nice and crisp. And this one. Okay, this is what we got. That's it, it's just super duper easy, not kidding. Here comes the next one. And again, we are going to burnish those edges good. You want everything to be nice and crisp and square. Did I do, I didn't do this one. Okay, and then these. My cats were happy to see me when I got home driving me crazy. <laughs> I don't blame them, right? Okay, next thing we're going to do is I like to kind of do this and go, oh yeah, okay, I see what's going on here. So we're going to fold this in and we're going to use some tear and tape. So I'm folding this. You're going to put your tear and tape as close to the fold line on this little tab as possible. Tear that, okay. So this is gonna go together like this. And then this is just gonna, you know, go together like this. 
okay? So where do I need tape here? I need tape here and here. So we've got tear and tape here. We're gonna do it here and here. And we're gonna put this out towards the end just on these two. Right before I left, my sister got some, um, well, let's put on our designer series paper now. So hang tight. What we're gonna use, I'm using the beautiful Painted Christmas, okay? And I chose to use this pattern. You need two pieces that are two and a half by six. Two pieces, two and a half by six. And then two pieces that are one and seven eighths by six. Okay? So it's easier to put these on while this is flat, right? Than trying to make a box and then put these on. So this is going to go here. This one's going to go here. And these two pieces are right here. So before I left, my sister bought, she lives with my mom and her kids live with, there too. There's three kids that live there with them. And um, she bought a couple chickens for the kids. And they are just the cutest things. Like they're really cute. One of the chickens was sick. So I felt really bad because I know that the chicken probably... They said that it wasn't a well chicken. Like it has kind of had some problems all along. It's not as healthy as the other one. So I'm sad because now the I'm thinking their chicken is going to die. And the kids, of course, love the chicken. So I felt really bad for it. <clears throat> yeah, they got all kinds of critters there. Have you seen the picture of my mom with the bearded dragon? Yeah, she goes to Marshfield every week and buys the crickets to feed the bearded dragon. <laughs> And they have like a little harness for it so she can take them out for a walk. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Yeah. Val thought the bearded dragon was pretty cool. And she liked the chickens too. It's all kinds of critters there. Okay, so look how pretty that is, right? Okay. Now, when you put boxes together, for years I used to like hold them up like this and do all this. Just lay them flat and peel that tape off and fold it over and it's gonna be perfect every time well this time it wasn't very perfect hang on <laughs> perfect every time and tear and tape is very unforgiving so we'll see what I have to salvage here but I didn't get that very good I'm wondering what happened here <laughs> don't worry about this nobody will see it there we go let's try that again I'm going to push this over just a little bit. Okay, there we go. You know what? I think I probably cut this a little bit longer than it should have been. Well, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so we've got our tear and tape on these ends right here. So I'm going to push this one in. And then we're going to take the backing off of this. And we're going to go like this. Make sure it's nice and squared up. Okay. And then you can kind of do this and push your bone folder down in there so it'll stick. And now we're going to do this one. So we're going to peel this off. Here we go. Nice and square. And again, I'm just going to put my bone folder down in there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now, hang on, because we need to put some holes for our ribbon in each side here. So I have this old hole punch. We don't sell hole punches, but figure out a way to punch a hole, okay? One thing, if you don't have a hole punch, but you do have this sweet, there's a die, so that's what I did. I just put holes right here. There is a little tag die right here. See this? This puts a hole for ribbon into your tags. That's what these are. There's actually two of them. Here's another one right here. So you could do, you could use that on here before you make this into a box. You could use that die to put a little ribbon slide area in there. So that would be a really good idea too. 
Okay, here's our box. Now we have to make the other one. And again, whoops, hang on, my tear and tape stick in here as it should, <laughs> right? It's supposed to stick. We're going to get that on there. And then this is going to go like this. And then I'm going to need some tape on this one and this one. So we've got tape here. And once you hold these up, you'll get it. It doesn't matter which ones you put it on, just so it's on the ones that are going to touch each other. Does that make sense? <laughs> that sounds kind of stupid, but yes. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this one doesn't get any designer paper on it, so we don't need to worry about that. We can just get this tear and tape off, or the backing off. And this one I think I cut right because... It worked out perfect, okay. And then we're gonna peel this one off. And now we're gonna put this in here like this. And then we're gonna do the other one. Here we go. Okay, now here's what happens. This fits in here and that's why the dimensions are a little different and I bet you it's not gonna fit because I did something wrong. Hang on, let me see if I could force it in there. Oh, it is gonna fit. Okay, I didn't do something that wrong. Um, don't do what I just did here. So I got it out. Okay, now what I wanna do here, where'd my ribbon go? Oh, here it is. So we're gonna put some ribbon in here. And I've got this pretty red ruffled ribbon. This is from the Holiday Mini Catalog. And I'm going to feed this in through the holes, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna move it out of the way. What's gonna go in here? <gasps> Winter Citrus, Citrus Wreath. This is Bath and Body Works White Barn Liquid Soap. Now, why would you want to put this into a gift? Well, first of all, Sarah sent me a beautiful gift, and I'll show that to you in a few minutes again if you, in case you missed it. But I have been a big, um, I use these when I go stay at somebody's house. Like my friend Vicki, when we go stay at her cabin in the summer, I like to bring her a little gift. And a bottle of soap like this is a wonderful little gift. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but it's all about the packaging, right? So we've got a ribbon in here like this. And then you take that and you tie it in a bow. Whoops, hang on. Let me get this. I want to get this a little more even. By the way, this piece of ribbon is 23, 24 inches. 23, 24 inches. And it's big enough to tie in a bow. Well, I don't have mine centered very good, do I? Let me pull this through here. Okay, that's better. So we're just gonna pull it up like this, tie it in a bow, just like that. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Now, I thought we need to do something with this, right? We need a little bit of decorating going on, so let me find, where did my, here it is. I want a piercing mat so I have something to stamp on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my red ink. Oh, here it comes. I'm like, where did all my stuff go? Don't worry. It's right here. I've got pure pizzazz and real red ink. And like I said, I'm using the Christmas season and also the Christmas to remember stamp set for this particular project. So I've got the friends like you make this spe this season special. And I'm just gonna stamp this right on a scrap of basic white. And then I'm going to grab the holly leaves and I'm going to stamp those on a scrap of white, just like that. And then we've got the berries 
and we'll stamp that just like that. Okay, let me move these out of the way before I, you know, you know what happens, right? Um, then we have our dies. This set of dies, this has mm, 19 different dies in it. There's a lot of dies in here, lots of labels, which are really cool. We've got the berries. We're gonna use the berry one. Oh, here's some more slides. So you can put you can put these on the edge of the label and then weave ribbon through them, both of these things. Okay, we've got that. Here's our holly leaves. And then, hang on. Oh, here's a couple more labels that are hiding back here. Here we go. So we've got these too. So we're gonna use this one and we're gonna die cut this. We're also going to use this one and die cut it on a piece of real red. We're gonna die cut these and we're gonna die cut the berries, okay? And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done this. So now what we're gonna do is I wanna use this as a layer behind this, but of course it's the same exact size. So we're gonna just cut it like this and we're going to add a little bit of glue and we're gonna just leave a top margin and a bottom margin. So it's just gonna frame this little label perfectly. Just like that. Isn't that kind of a nifty little, I've done this lots of times, nifty little trick. Okay, then we are going to take these and I'm thinking the best way to attach those is with mini glue dots. And I'm going to grab a dot and I'm gonna stick on right here. Bring that in, and another one right here. That right there. And I like this because I can adjust it if I need to. I'm gonna pull that off and maybe overlap it just a little bit more. Okay, and then mini dimensionals. Let me see if I can find some white ones. Of course, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, good Lord. Look at this. I got this much. Yeah, I see one. <laughs> I'm going to put that right in the middle there. Fits on there perfectly. And then I don't like that. So, <laughs> hang on. We're going to move these this down here a little bit further and maybe this one over here a little bit further and now we're gonna go like this yep that's it that was the ticket okay um I think that I want I'm gonna put another little piece of dimensional under there figures that I'm out of my minis right now because they work perfect I'm gonna put another one right under this berry See how I just folded it over? I just manhandled that berry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then I want to put this on my box. And I was thinking, oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. So we'll use some edges here. These mini dimensionals, the edges are really thick, which makes them super nice for all kinds of good things. And I think I'll put one right in the middle too. This is a box, so it'll get handled like a little differently than a card would. So you wanna make sure that you're nice and sturdy with this. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I haven't actually made this yet, you guys, so. <laughs> That turned out really nice. And as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, oh, should we have some Wink of Stella, perhaps? Yeah, let's put a little bit of glitter 
on our little berries. Oh, let me get some in there. And I know this is really hard to see, but it's glimmery and that makes it just a little bit more special. Okay, so here is our cute little container for the liquid soap. And hang on, here was the one that Sarah made for me, right? Yeah, and she sent me a Halloween card. Where's that? Oh, this cute little Halloween card. So she made a card with the gift. And so I am going to make a card to match my little gift. Now I was gonna tell you what I use these for. Like I said, when we go to somebody's house, I like to give a little gift and I also like to use the soap. And I'm a little weird about it. Like my mom didn't have any out this weekend and I'm like, oh, I hate your soap. And she's like, well, I have some of that bath and body soap under the sink. For some reason it like, it makes my mom's hands be really super dried out, but I love it. So here comes our matching card. Let me get all my bits and pieces out here. Good Lord. Okay, so there's our cardstock. I have a scrap of crumb cake, a scrap of white. I don't know what that's for. Um, I have a piece of gold. Hang on just a second while I figure all this out. This and this and this. And a piece of white. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, okay, that was an idea. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tell you all about these layers. Oh, I think I had this written written down, but now I can't find it. So I'm going to need to know this. Here we go. We've got the designer series paper here. This is two and a half by three and a half. Okay. And then this piece is going to be two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're going to layer these together so we can do that right now. Must have a little goober in the end of my thing here. Oh, you know what? My, I'm like, keep looking at my screen over there wondering why there's no comments. If anybody asked a question, please do ask it again because they just went away. Like my comments weren't coming up on the screen. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we've got this going on. Then this is our card base, and this is Evening Evergreen, eight and a half by five and a half. And instead of using this side of this paper, we're gonna use this side, and isn't that soft and pretty? We're gonna put this right on the front. Okay. Then, I think we can put these on too. So this is gonna go over here. This is gonna go right over here on the side. I love that. Okay. Put this right here. And then we're gonna tuck this Oh, I can put some glue on the back of this too. Back of it's probably a better idea. I'm going to tuck this right in here. And this is just kind of a neat layout. This was a swap card that I made using this Christmas season bundle. And I had it in my um, cabinet over here to do a video on it. And I thought, oh, this will work perfect to go with our pretty box, right? Okay, next thing I wanna do is we are going to stamp, uh, hang on, oh, to you and yours. That's what I wanted to use. So I'm gonna come in here with the red and we're gonna do to you and yours. That looks really nice. This again is from the Heartfelt Wishes and 
we're going to pull in this label die right here. Now, I like to use a little bit of temporary tape. Washi tape works good for this. I'm going to tape this down. And I do need to die cut this, so hang tight. Let me put this back so I don't lose it. We also, oh, I need a bigger piece of white than that. Hang on, we got lots of white scraps. We also need, uh, la, 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 la. I think we'll do the evening evergreen for the sprig. Here's our sprig, we're gonna use this one. Ooh, I love that. Pretty, pretty. And then we're going to bring out crumb cake ink. And we're going to stamp that. And then we need to get our berries. And we need to stamp those in here. Just like that. Okay. Now there's a die that will cut out the sprig right here, this one. And then there's also a die that cuts out the berries on the end of the branch. I'll put these all back in here so I don't have any trying to get away from me. Okay, so we're gonna die cut that. We're going to die cut this. Let's see, that's looking pretty good. Was there anything else that I wanted to do here? I don't think so, I think that'll be good. Okay, so hang tight. I'm gonna bring these in. Here's our berries, here's our little sprig. Get that out of here, get this out of here. I don't want any accidents on our beautiful card, right? Okay. So we're gonna do this and this, and here's our little label. Yeah, this is gonna look very nice. All right, hang on while I get some mini dimensionals. Sorry about that. We're going to take some mini dimensionals and put them on the back of our label. And then I've got a mini dimensional on the back of this, and I'm going to put one on the back of this, but only up towards the top. I'm not putting any dimensionals down here. And the reason is, oh, I know, I need to get a little bit of ribbon. Hang on. Little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon. I'm going to use mini glue dots again. They come in so handy, don't they? They're just good. They work good on ribbon. So I'm going to put one in between my ribbon to fold it in half. Whoops, get my finger out of there. Okay, just like this. And then I'm going to put another one on my ribbon. Okay, so this is gonna go right about here. So I want this to be right about there. Okay. And now we're going to add our sentiment. That's gonna go right about here. Ooh, I love it so far. Then we're gonna take the dimensional backing off and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue down here. I wanted this to fit under my sentiment nicely, but then, so I've got some glue. Hang on, my ribbon's getting in the way. I've got some glue here, but then it's popped up on a dimensional up there. And I did the same thing with the berries, and I'm gonna just add a little bit of glue here so they'll tuck under my sentiment, but then be raised up. 
out here. And scissors. I'm going to take this and I'm going to trim it and trim it just like that. We need some embellishments. And I think we will go with the red ones because I think they're really going to show up nicely. Do a little red one right, oops, right here. We've got big ones and little ones. By the way, these are called Wonderful Gems. And they have a little bit of gold flecking in the red and the clear ones that make them so pretty. I'll do one here. Another one right there. And I always kind of like to do odd numbers. Let's see, where do I want that to be? Right there? Sure. Okay, so here's our pretty card, but we need to do something with the inside, right? Yeah. All right. I've got white here, and I think I'm going to put this right there. First, I want to stamp my Merry Christmas, and I'm going to do that in red. This is real red. Do a Merry Christmas just like that. And then we'll put this little, this is a three-quarter inch strip, just a scrap out of my designer paper. Pack to match. Here we go. Make sure I get this in here straight. Yay! What do you guys think? Yeah. So we have a beautiful card and a really nice little gift to go with it, right? Yeah. I love this. I love this idea. I love giving these as gifts. My stepkids, Anna and Stephanie, they buy me the soap all the time. I'll get it in a bag with a candle for my birthday. I'll get it with another little gift for Mother's Day. I absolutely love the soap and they know it. Last time I went to Bath and Body to get soap, I hate running out of it because then that's all I need to go to the mall for. Last time I went and got it, I bought 24 bottles. <laughs> it was like so outrageous. But I'm like, I'm tired of running out of it. And when we had the COVID lockdown, I had to go online and order it online. It took forever to get it. So I made sure that wasn't going to happen again. I'm just going to clean these stamps up. So there we go. That's that box. Then I thought... Well, you know, this is so stinking cute. There's a lot of things you could fit in this box also besides just the soap. But it is a pretty cool idea, right? Thanks, Sarah. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was something that isn't Christmas. So let me grab this. Hang on before everything falls apart here. I've got my Gilded Gems. I've got that beautiful gold shimmer ribbon that I just gave away tonight. We're gonna be using the Blackberry Beauty specialty paper, the Blackberry Beauty ephemera pack. And here we go. Here comes our box. So we're gonna make another box and a matching card to go with this. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I'm drinking strawberry lemonade, but I do have to tell you when we were up north, we went out for fish and I did have an old fashioned and so did my mom and so did her friend. <laughs> I have corrupted everybody with the Southern Comfort. Yeah. Okay, so these are the same exact boxes. I have already scored them and put the tape on them. Well, let's get our layers on. I'm gonna be using the Blackberry Beauty Specialty Designer Series paper, and I chose this with the owls on it because, well, it's just so, so pretty, right? So, black or, um, uh, Rich Razzleberry, and then I'm going to do let me make sure I'm putting this on the right way. I am. 
You want to make sure your owls are right side up, right? Ooh, this morning when we were having breakfast, my mom's like hollering. She's like, there comes an eagle right over the house. So everybody's like looking out the window and this eagle flew really low. They usually fly super high. Flew right over our house and you could see it's just majestic white head. I just think bald eagles are so cool looking. And again, these are these smaller ones are one and seven eighths by six. And the um, bigger ones are two and a half by six. I had to look at my notes because I can't remember. If you tuned in late, all of these dimensions for these boxes will be on my blog later tonight as soon as I can get everything loaded up and photographed. And there we go. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I've got a really pretty card we're going to make to go with this one too. Now, this one would be perfect for like a housewarming or here's what I was thinking. If somebody invites you over for Thanksgiving dinner, right? Or any reason really, but I thought, you know, lots of people invite friends over for Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving. That's a good one. I know my um, friend Kathy, her daughter has a Friendsgiving every year at her house, which is really cool. But if you get invited over, this would make a fantastic little host gift, right? There we go. Here is our box. I am going to find my hole puncher. We're going to punch a hole in here. Now, I love this specialty paper because it has that gold foil in it. Oops, let's see if I can get that centered. And I'm going to use the gold shimmer ribbon on it because I just like came up with this good brainiac idea. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is genius. Okay, here comes the, this is the ins, the lid. Is that what we called it? A lid? Hang on, I got my notes all covered up. Yeah, the box lid. And the base. So we're going to fold this down, do the same thing. Uh, there's our tear and tape. I'm going to do this, and then this, and then I'm going to put my bone folder in there and get that all pinched down in there. And where's our ribbon? Right here. Oh, I couldn't wait. I haven't made this yet. So I'm like, oh, again, 23, 24 inches is the perfect amount of ribbon. And we're going to put this through both holes. And then we're going to move our ribbon out of the way. Oh, look, I crunched that. Don't crunch your box. <laughs> oh, I have to show you. This is actually the bottle that Sarah sent me and it's got the owl on it and the gold and it's kind of the same color. What do you guys think? It's called Frosted Cranberry from Bath and Body. Super duper pretty, right? And we're going to put, get the ribbon out of the way here and get this fed down in. There we go. Put the ribbon up on top. I don't want it to be, there we go, tangled or turned or whatever. Yeah, a little bit more over here. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so stunning. How fun. Now look, Sarah just sent that to me and I am having a blast with it. I love it when you guys do stuff like that. Here's our gold shimmer. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to trim this off. Trim this off. Ah. Then I need something for the front of this. So that's where the ephemera pack came in. You guys have seen me show this before. This is the Blackberry Beauty ephemera pack. And it has all of these little die cuts in it. All these tags and florals and leaves. Some are gold, some are white with gold. Um, some are just painted. 
We have a bunch of labels in here, some little boxes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this particular label and, oh, I know, I've got, where did my stamp set go now? Hang on, it's here someplace. Da, da, da. Oh, I thought I pulled it out. Didn't I pull it? No, maybe I didn't. Hmm, will this fit on there? Nope, that won't fit. Okay, so here's what my idea was. I am going to just take some of this and I'm going to tie it, put it through this hole, maybe. Ooh, hang on, Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. I'm going to put this in here. And because we've got so much beautiful stuff going on with this, I was thinking that I didn't need to get too darn crazy with this. And I'm going to leave my label blank. See how it's got that gold on there? Isn't that pretty? I'm going to leave that blank. I don't know if I want to tie this in a bow. Let's see what happens. Because you know I didn't actually make this yet. <laughs> Kind of winging it tonight. Oh yeah, I like the bow. Well, not this like this, but let me get it. <laughs> let me get it sized down a little bit so it doesn't look like. Rah. There we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. This. Oh, that one cut kind of stupid. Hang on, that will never make me happy. There we go. And then what I thought I'd do is just grab the dimensionals. Oh, look, I have some of these. <laughs> and I'm just going to take this and put it on a dimensional. And then when I get ready to give it to whomever I'm gonna give it to, I can write on this little tag, just like that. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Should we make a matching card? Oh, I think we should. Okay, here comes our matching card. Oh, I did put the dimensions on here. Well, thank the Lord I did something right. <laughs> Here comes all of our bits and pieces. Now this is a quick and easy card. I'm gonna show you where I got the idea from because I actually had some cards stacked up waiting to do videos and I never did the videos. So, and then, yeah, so that's where this came from. All right, we are going to, we need something really little on there. And I am going to, hang on. Yeah, I was totally going to do something different. Um, I am going to use, here comes my stamp set. I forgot about this. We've got well-defined, has a two and a from in it. So I could have done that on the tag, but I forgot. So you could do that if you want, but I think I like it just left like this so I can write on it. Here's the beauty of tomorrow. This is the stamp set that goes with all of this Blackberry Beauty whole suite of products, okay? And there's some dies that go with it too. But I'm gonna use the Grateful from the Sparkle of the Season. I just needed a word that, that was that big. And I'm going to use that on this little label. And this label came from the ephemera kit. Okay, the ephemera pack. So here comes our rich razzleberry. I'm gonna stand up so I can get this centered on here. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Oh, very good. <laughs> and then we've got a Basic white four by five and a quarter inch layer. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I put two stamps on one block and it says some people are just likable. You're one of those people. Isn't that neat? Okay, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this 
label. Okay, we'll just set that aside. I've got a, oh, I wanted to do this strip. Oh, this is right. Okay, I thought I wanted to do it down the side, but that was a different card. Here we go. Here's a three quarter inch strip of the designer paper. And then we're gonna put that on the inside of our rich Razzleberry card base. On here, right? And we'll put this inside. So what did you guys have for supper? I got home today. Oh, I'm missing a whole bunch. Debbie's praying for somebody's safety. I'm so sorry. I'll pray for your safety too. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, California is flooding right now. I'll bet you that's what it is. Yeah, I was watching. Holy cow, that was crazy. Okay, so we've got this going on. Then I've got two strips. These are two half inch strips of gold foil. And of course, gold foil is in the paper, so I thought this would be perfect. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take this layer of designer series paper. This is three by five and a half. Just gonna run a little bit of glue down the edge, and we're going to add this to the side. We're gonna do the same thing for the other one. I was watching some weather, the part of the weather channel before I came on and there was some big mudslides going on. There's some big storm happening on the West Coast. Like, oh my good Lord. I feel so bad for everybody affected by that. Okay. This is gonna go right on the front of our card, just like this, isn't that pretty? So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna center this. There we go. And, oh, hang on, we've got to have a vellum circle here someplace. Mm, did you see a vellum circle? Oh, here it is. This is a two and a quarter inch vellum circle. And I'm just going to put this, mm, I'm thinking right about here. Just like that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back. And I'm going to put something over that so you won't see that glue. Before I do that, we're going to come in with this ribbon again. So this is going to match our box. I'm going to bring this. Right in here. Tie this in a knot. This ribbon is so nice to work with. Like it's really thin and flexible and pliable and whatever all the words are. A bull. <laughs> I love it. It's really nice to work with. Mm, already just delicious, right? Okay, then part of the ephemera pack has these images in it. It has the leaves, it has the owls. So I thought this owl would look pretty darn cool right on here. Now I gotta figure out how to do this so that it's not interfering with my bow here. So I'm gonna put my, and it has to be within the edge here so it can go in an envelope, right? I'm thinking Nope, you can't do it that way. You gotta kinda do it this way. I should have moved my circle over a little bit. Uh, or maybe I need to nip the little edge off of his wing. I could clip his wings a little bit. 
he won't be able to fly as good with clipped wings. I'm just kidding. He really won't. <laughs> but I may have to clip his wing. So look at how cool that is, right? Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, yep, we're gonna snip that little wing right off. We're gonna go, mm, clip, boom, gone. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> Here comes, I see Joe and Chris is coming in, running a little late. Don't worry about it, it's okay. We're gonna come in here with our great fall. I just wanna get this on here straight. <gasps> what do you guys think? Let me move all the stuff out of the way. Got kind of a mess going on here, as usual. Here comes our beautiful soap. You just untie this. This comes right out. It's even got an owl on it. Thank you, Sarah. Look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful set? Who isn't gonna be thrilled to get this? Like, I don't know anybody that would be thrilled to get this. All right, so there was our first one. Oh, and did I say this was crumb cake? This is crumb cake cardstock, which I just thought looked really nice with this. And then here comes our Christmas one. It'd be great if you're going over to somebody's house before the holidays or maybe for Christmas. But yeah, you could definitely, oh, and for those of you that like to do craft fairs and make and sell stuff for craft fairs, this is a fantastic idea for that too, right? Hey, I've got these. I forgot to put these on as usual. Like, I almost forget my little embellishments because I get so excited at the end. These are the Gilded Gems. And I am going to just add, oh, that little bit of bling does so much. I love it, love it, love it. There we go. Can you see it? Mm, love it. So there we go, you guys. Oh, I am so happy to be back with you. <laughs> I can't even tell you. So I will be live again next Sunday, same time, 7 p.m. Central Time. I'll also be live on Wednesday night. If you want to register for bingo, you're going to find that on my blog. And again, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code if your order's under $150. Now, if you want to register for bingo, I usually close that registration up by last Wednesday, but I didn't close it because I was crazy, uh, crazy busy, right? So I've still got it open if you would like to register for bingo, but please know that you can come and watch the card class. Um, you just don't get to play bingo and you don't get all the make and takes and the fun products that come with that, but you do get five make and takes with bingo. So it's a lot of fun and the opportunity to win fabulous prizes. There we go. I think we did really good tonight. What do you guys think? I'm so happy with these. I wasn't sure how they were going to turn out. So it's like, Whew, yay, I like them. All of the dimensions for these will be found on my blog later tonight as soon as I can get this um, video uploaded. I need to show you my mail, so hang tight. Let me move some of these things off to the side and we'll go through the mail, which is really fun stuff. Okay. Here comes the mail. Oh, I was going to show you guys this card that I made. This was the card that I had all cut up and ready to go, but I never made the video. So super easy layout. Same card, just different stamps set in different paper. And then look at this one. Again, exact same layout, just different paper, different images, different ribbon. Aren't they cool? So this is how I get my ideas. It's like, oh, I looked at this and I went, wow, that would work good with that owl. And that's where it took off from there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll show you my mail and then I'll clean up my big mess I have going on here. So I just got this card in the mail. I just got my mail before I came up here from the weekend. This is from Kathy Showalter of Port Washington, Wisconsin. 
and I love this this card. I love that stamp set, of course, but isn't this just pretty? It's a very simple, but it's just really striking, I think. It says, thank you so very much for the Berry Blessing stamp set and snowflake sequins. I want it your Sunday Live video. I truly love watching you create, and Sunday is a highlight to my week. Thank you for being you. Honest, real, and sincere. Kathy, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, and look, she used Gilded Gems on there, too. Yeah, the same ones that I just used on this card. Uh-huh. Nice touch. Thank you so much, Kathy. Next up, I just got this from Stampin' Up. And I looked at it, and I went, huh. <gasps> this is from Rhett Christensen. I was just telling you about him. He's the one who gave us a tour. And he says, Kelly, it was so great to see you and meet Steve. Hope your trip was safe and enjoyable. Be sure to let me know about the cardstock donation. So check this out. While we were at the Stampin' Up! headquarters, he said they have boxes of retired cardstock. And one of the um, gifts that I get is to be able to donate that to a place of my choice. So they're going to send like around $1,000 worth of cardstock to Haley's school in Appleton. She teaches at Foster Elementary. And I said, oh my gosh, they would just love that. So um, he's going to be shipping. Let me know about the cardstock. I emailed him earlier today before I even got this card and said, thank you so much for your generous offer and told him where to send the cardstock. So I thought that was cool. Next up, we have Jackie Unger sent me this cute card. Look at this penguin with the witch's hat on. Is that not the cutest thing? Jackie has been a longtime customer of mine, but she just recently joined my team, and I'm so happy to have her aboard. It says, thank you for the happy mail. I love the gingham ribbon. I'm so happy to be on your team. Please resend this card, and I definitely will, Jackie. i got to get my um, Halloween cards out pretty soon here, right? Yeah, that's coming up really fast, like on next Sunday. Holy cow. Next Sunday, I'm on live on Halloween. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I suppose it'll be seven o'clock and it's Sunday night. Yeah, I'll be live on Halloween. Maybe I'll wear my mic costume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't die of a heat stroke. <laughs> okay, Jackie, thank you so much for this beautiful card. Next up. Oh, this came with a present, I think. Let me look here. <gasps> this is from... Hang on, hang on, I got it right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is from, I think it's Francine Yano. Yes, I think it is. Okay, this came with the box. Oh, first let's read this, I get too excited. Thank you so much for the beautiful card and the beautiful gems. Please accept these Hawaiian goodies as a token of my appreciation. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Mini Melis? They are toffee-coated macadamia nuts covered in luscious milk chocolate, 100% Hawaiian grown. And the cool thing is, is that Francine is from Honolulu. So these really came from Hawaii. Like, <gasps> Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is chocolate covered whole and half macadamia nuts. Oh my goodness, I'm going to eat these. Macadamia nut shortbread. Oh, I got to see this. Oh, good Lord. Look at these. Half dipped in chocolate. I am going to get so fat. <laughs> and I'm going to eat every one of them and I'm not telling Steve. I'm not going to lie. I'm just not telling him these are up here because they're mine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look at this beautiful card, right? And I love what she did here with the frames around where she put her sentiment in here. So, so pretty. Yeah. Love it. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a look at something over here. Whoops, I just clicked on the wrong thing. And we're gonna go all the way to the bottom. STVWX. Okay, next up, I got more mail. Hang on. Here comes another one. This beautiful card is from Robin Sunderland. Look at how pretty that is. It's a pretty, she stamped these images, but I love that she put that background stamp behind it. This is the intricate leaves, I believe, is the bundle. But how pretty is that? Yeah, and it says, your kindness is so appreciated. What a nice surprise. Thank you very much for the shimmer ribbon. Yay, I'm so happy, Robin. Very pretty card. Here is another pretty one. This is from Lori Callies. Simply thankful for all the good things. Thank you for the Prize Patrol gift. Your weekly Sunday night lives are a highlight of my weekends. Lori, you are so welcome. I love this. And this is part of the um the Memories and More cards that I just gave away as a prize tonight, you guys. Uh-oh. I think I just got paused i wonder why huh can you guys still see me hear me i hope so <gasps> look at this this is from ginger Helmead. oh so pretty belly band oh i see we're back on i don't know what happened you guys <gasps> look at this she goes, wanted to say thank you so much for all the work and fun you put in to both the Stampapalooza and the Business Palooza. We just had a fall retreat. I had so much fun, learned so much in the process, made me more excited to get the stamp business going full speed. Ginger joined my team. Thank you so much for being a great and fun team leader. I tried making the pocket card you showed so much fun. The swag box for the retreat rocked, loved everything. Yeah, you did a really great job here, Ginger. Are you kidding me? This is totally cool, right you guys? That's like awesome. I love how she put the wink of Stella on her pumpkins. All right, here comes another. Oh, I love this one too. This is from Wendy Dernbach. Look at how she put Strips of designer paper. These are strips of designer paper, just like that. And then cut out one of the flowers from the, the artistically, what's it called, impressions paper. Isn't that pretty? Stamped her a little thank you. It says, thank you so much for the craft silicone mat I won in the team meeting. It's fabulous. I so enjoyed your lives and being on your team, Wendy. Wendy, I love your card. Thank you so much. Let's see. Okay, I have two more, you guys. Here comes Linda Keister. Isn't this pretty? She used the decorative masks for this background, which I absolutely love. Your kindness has touched my heart. I was so excited to see my happy mail. This shimmer ribbon is perfect for my Christmas cards. Look at how straight it's like she uses, it's like she has a ruler to write her sentences so perfectly straight. I know she didn't use a ruler because it would look all goofy. I love your writing, Linda, and your card is beautiful. <laughs> and here comes a slimline card. This is from Gwen Mills. Look at how cool this is. I love this. It says, I received my happy mail from you and Stampin' Up! along with some special treats. Getting a chance to win prizes sure makes the cards and bingo class fun. Look forward to playing again. Gwen, you are so very welcome and I'm so happy that you won. Isn't this cool? I love it. She let the designer paper do almost all the work and I think that is beautiful. All right, you guys. Um, I don't think I have anything else for you tonight, but make sure you check back on Wednesday. Um, if you want to play bingo, let me know as soon as possible. I'm going to be putting in a second day air order to get that all done and probably shutting down registration tomorrow afternoon, I'm thinking. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for the cards. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And if you would love to get a discount on your products, I would love to have you on my team. That's what all these people are referring to. I send out a lot of uh, gifts from my team meetings, which is really fun. And everybody can attend no matter where they live in the country because they're all virtual, done through Zoom and Facebook. So just like you guys are watching me tonight, you can be on my team and join in that fun virtually also. Oh, I hope I didn't miss any questions. I know that it's hard for me to continue to do what I'm doing and read comments because, man, you got to be good, right? It's tough. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Prayers coming to those of you that are experiencing all the bad weather out on the West Coast. Um, I just hope things are okay and they can keep everything under control with, you know, how do you control a mudslide? It's kind of a disaster. But um, also big shout out to Cindy Ford, one of my demonstrators. Um, she had a house fire and lost her house and almost lost her life. And I'm just grateful that she is out of the hospital and um, will be helping soon to replenish her crafting supplies. So big shout out to Cindy too. Um, very sorry for what happened. Sorry for the people on the West Coast that are experiencing all the problems. Gosh, it's got to get better, right? I hope you... Oh. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you to say you're glad to have us have me back. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back on here with you guys. I'll see you again live on Sunday evening, 7 p.m. Central Time right here. I'm going to try to do that fun fold that Ann asked about. Um, you guys will love it. You, I know you like fun folds, and they're one of my favorite things to do, too. Have yourselves a wonderful week, and uh, I'll see you back here on Halloween. Yeah, fun stuff. Bye-bye.